guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Um, I set up my box light in my kitchen so that I had better lighting and the kids think it's apparently the most amazing thing on the planet. But the lighting in my bat or in my um, kitchen is really, really bad. It's very dark, so you'll probably see a lot of like really dark shadows and stuff depending where I'm filming. But I'm going to try my best to make this as good as quality as possible for you guys. Um... But today we're going to be doing a meal plan and prep with me, or a meal, meal plan and grocery haul with me. There you go. And I got this idea from, oh, what was her name? I wrote it down. Um, <clears throat> I got this off of Angela Burniff, but she's, I know her from The Gathering Nest. I just recently started watching her personal channel. Aubrey, don't mess with it. Um, I just started watching her personal channel and I love it. I've been binge watching everything she does. So what I'm going to be doing today is I'm going to be going through my pantry and my fridge and getting rid of, not really getting rid of, well I'm going to be throwing out whatever's expired, but I'm going to be trying to use up everything that's in my fridge and my pantry. And this is because I'm trying to cut down on my grocery bill right now. I'm trying to cut my grocery bill in half at least this week. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm just going to try to use up everything in my home. That way we're not buying anything we don't necessarily need. Which is our biggest problem. We just go in and buy whatever we're craving at that moment. So this is really easy. What I did is I wrote it on a piece of paper Wednesday through Tuesday. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And I'm just going to fill in the blank with, blanks with whatever we have in our pantry. And then right here I'm going to write down what else we need to finish off of that meal. So like I know there's a hamburger me helper meal in there. So I know I'm going to need hamburger meat to do that meal. So you know. You understand? <laughs> also, one of the best ways that I've learned to earn some extra points when I'm ordering groceries is by using the Drop app, which looks like that. So, I use my Drop app, and I just go down here. Uh, I've already shopped here before, but you can type in Walmart Grocery, and once you click on it, it automatically takes you to your Walmart app and activates your points. Um, so, as soon as you place... There you go. It alerts you. So, as soon as you place an order, you'll get 3,000 points, and that's just a quick and easy way to earn points towards gift cards for items. Here, let me just see if I can. So you can get Apple, um, Chili's, Macy's, Domino's. I would use that one all the time. Dunkin' Donuts. Like, you can just get gift cards to anywhere. And basically every thousand points is a dollar. So if you, um, order on the grocery app then you automatically get like three dollars back so it just adds up if you're automatically ordering off the app anyways like I was every week then I just do it and eventually it'll add up I'll leave a link down below so if you would like you can click on that and I think it's like ten dollars you'll ten dollars worth of points that you'll automatically get so Aubrey's currently helping me put up dishes I guess oh no I don't know what she's done with them what's wrong baby you're good you can go play um, she's feeling very rough. We did not sleep at all. I don't know if any of you have had children that had your ton their tonsils taken out, but it was miserable. And I'm going to have a whole video on that. It'll probably go up before this one, actually. Um, because, like, during nap time today, I'm going to, like, do a sit-down part of it. But, whew, it was rough. And Aubrey did not sleep at all last night. She would sleep for, like, 15 minutes and occasionally an hour at a time and then wake up screaming for a few minutes and it was it was just really rough luckily my mom came over first thing in the morning and she helped out a lot let's go ahead and get started in this video because i'm just gonna ramble all day long i'm sleep deprived right now i will talk your head off couple places that I keep food and one of them is like this big area and I know it's a mess I do plan on doing a pantry clean out and that's gonna be a whole nother video but right now I'm just working on decreasing the clutter so it's not as much you know work or pointless moving things around then I have this large pantry area right here which I absolutely love um, up here is just random stuff most of this is actually probably gonna be able to go in the trash because it's just stuff we're not eating. I don't want it in the house anymore. We're trying to get away from so much junk food. Um, like a lot of this I bought around Halloween for trick or treaters and it's just, it's just a mess. So we need to get rid of all that. The freezer is just a typical American freezer. <laughs> I have a lot of go-gurts and um, 
what are these popsicles lots of popsicles right now because Arby did just get out of surgery so we did stock up on a few of those things and they just love these Eggo waffles I don't know about your kids but Eggo waffles are the best so one of our big goals is going to be able to is going to be to get rid of all of this stuff I want all this frozen these things gone because our new diet or new plan that we're going on we're not going to be able to eat any of that so the fridge is looking pretty empty um, as you can see we've used up all of our milk all of our you know, just berries and stuff like that so there's really not too much left in here I do have peppers and stuff in there and that we're gonna eat for dinner tonight I stuck I had some steaks in the freezer so I went ahead and stuck those in the fridge um, to defrost. I also have some yams sitting out here and I'm also going to be bringing out a lot of like soft foods to put to the side that way when I'm making meals for the next two weeks I can specifically make something for Aubrey that I know she can eat and get down um, but I just want to make sure I have it and not like at dinner time be making fish sticks when she can't eat fish sticks so you know what I'm talking about with multiple kids it's just it just gets hectic so I am going to be setting aside a lot of soft foods for her. We have a ton of these snacks that we got from Disney that we're just not going to eat, so I'm going to go ahead and throw these in the trash. We've had them for about a month now, so we're not going to eat them. two weeks without leaving we can't go to gymnastics library time or anything like that for two weeks because obviously Aubrey has to keep her activity level down um, and I really just don't want her out in public while she's sick a big tip is to make sure you're looking at your planner so here's my planner I'm not gonna get too close because I have bills on it and stuff but make sure you look at your planner and see what exactly you have planned every day of the week that way you can plan accordingly to whether you need uh, if you're gonna be out all day whether you just need to throw something in a crock pot the day or not before um, for you know breakfast lunch or dinner um, you need to make sure you have everything you need by the day you plan on making a meal plan for uh oh's so plan for meals that your kids might not eat um, if things don't work out make sure you always have like a little backup plan so this week since Aubrey is not necessarily she has actually been eating a little bit of stuff we're eating but she's probably not gonna always want to eat exactly what we're eating I'm gonna always have like you know you, I'll show you to do the can of yams I have multiple packs of these ma instant mashed potatoes and um, these sweet potato packets for kids I don't know if you've ever seen them but they're kind of amazing so I have a few of these I have a few of these that I'm gonna be able to make her really quickly if I need to it that's my backup plan for her is like if she doesn't want to decide if she decides she doesn't want to eat whatever we're in I have other things for her and I'm also writing that down I'm putting or you know this for her I do not like spending all day in the kitchen cooking and all that good stuff so most of our lunches are quick especially for this week since we're trying to use up everything in our freezer but a lot of our lunches for this week are quick microwavable meals that I bought a while back when I was working um, when I used to work at the daycare I packed my lunch every day and I ate pretty dang healthy if I do say so myself and I loved these power bowls they're so good but I have so many of them still in my freezer I have about four of them in my freezer that I need to use up and then the kids obviously have a lot of these fish sticks that we've had forever these fries that we've had forever because I don't I don't really like feeding them this kind of stuff um, but since this week is the like a very stressful week I'm just going for it just get rid of it all we also have some pizza little pizza bite things lots of frozen waffles which is just our go-to anyway so that's not a big deal I also found that I have some tilapia in here so I don't know if any of you like tilapia I love tilapia I just forgot that I like tilapia I guess it's just when I place an order on my app I just automatically just get you know chicken my steaks my veggie burgers 
I just have these basic things that I always tend to get, but I never think about using what using up of what I have. So that's what I'm gonna do. All right. Anyways, ugh, this is very very hard. Ooh, brother, um, it's extremely hard with the kids. But with the bread, I'm gonna use about three fourths of this and make pre-made um, frozen peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. So I'm just going to make the peanut butter and jelly sandwiches, use my little tool thing to make them closed up, kind of like the Smucker's frozen. I don't know if you know what those are, the Smucker's frozen peanut butter and jellies. The kids love them. So I make a bunch of those for their lunches. So the days I wrote frozen meals, um, or yeah, basically anything that says frozen meal, I'm also adding on that they might eat a peanut butter and jelly sandwich with that. What is a baby? A baby. Yeah. The dog bit her finger the other day. Ooh, daddy's calling. See what he wants. I'm gonna show you my meals here in just a few minutes and go over everything that we do, we're going to do. But I'm gonna go ahead and tell you on Sunday, it's pretty much blank because that's the day that Chad's home. It's the one and only day he's home during the week. And I know I'm gonna get a lot of questions on this and a lot of weird things. But we spend Sunday together still. It's just, ever since we've been separated, we pretty much spend Sunday together. It's just, for us, we try to focus on what's best for the kids. And to have that one day where they still get to spend with both their parents is very important to us. Um, and I cannot go a day without seeing my babies. I cannot, like... It's really really hard for me not to see them first thing in the morning. So I go over to his house every Sunday morning and we normally end up taking the kids to go get breakfast or we cook breakfast at his house or something like that. And I do take breakfast over there a lot, but um, it's just always up in the air on what exactly we're going to do. So I'll either go to the store that day or we'll go get um, something to eat. It's, that's just the day that I'm not going to plan anything because it never goes as planned. <laughs> we normally go to Waffle House, go to church get lunch at his parents house and then go to a steakhouse for dinner that's pretty much our routine we always do the same thing every sunday um saturday is also another iffy day because dinner time is normally like he's coming home saturday nights and he normally brings dinner in with him so he picks it up on his way through town um so today is wednesday and for breakfast we had muffins and eggs the kids eat eggs every single morning that is our main food group pretty much so I know for a fact I need eggs so I went ahead and put that on the list put it in my grocery app um, if you don't know how to use your grocery app it's super easy like I said make sure you go to your drop up drop box yeah drop box drop app to um, get those extra points that those mindless points for the things you already need and then where's my grocery app there it is <laughs> um, so you go to your grocery app and you can just Search for eggs. It's super easy. And then find the ones you want, and there you go. But if you are somebody who shops on the app a lot, then you already probably know. It does reorder your, or you can reorder your essentials. So, sorry, I have something on my phone and it's making it hard to click. But, yeah, so you can just go through. This is what I used to always do. I would just click pretty much every single thing that I always get. It makes it super, super easy because I don't have to keep searching for everything. You can also scan your items to find, like, if you bought something from the store. So, say if I want this bread again. I just have to scan this and I'll automatically put it in my cart for me. I'm a big promoter of the Walmart app. Not, It's not sponsored or anything like that. I just really, really love it. I think every mom should consider using it. So Monday we had uh, muffins and eggs for breakfast. I'm going to have one of those frozen meals for lunch. I'm also going to be making hamburger helper for the kids for lunch um, because I, they had the fish sticks and fries last night so I'm just not going to make it again for them tonight. So they're going to have hamburger helper for lunch but it's also going to be part of their dinner. Um, more than like they're not big lunch eaters. They'll probably eat most of it for dinner time. And dinner for me is going to be steaks with sautéed peppers, which is like, that's my favorite meal of all time, steak and peppers. And then some mashed potatoes added with that for Maverick and Aubrey. Thursday is going to be, I was going to do muffins because we have lots of muffin mix. But <clears throat> instead, I'm buying, um, I'm going to get some avocados because I have chips and stuff to make 
um, what's it called? Anyways, avocado dip. I can't really think of what it's called, but I wanted avocados because that's one of my things I crave the most is avocado dip. Avocado toast is going to be for Thursday morning. It's one of my favorite meals. Avocado toast with an egg on top. And then for lunch, it's going to be a frozen meal for me. Peanut butter and jelly for the kids, which I'm about to meal prep all that. Then for dinner, it's going to be a crock pot chicken taco. I'm not sure if you guys saw, but I buy my... I do this, if you've ever seen one of my um, grocery hauls, you've probably seen this, but I buy my chicken, it's already pre-frozen in these individual packets. Um, I'm probably getting more today, so I'll show you what it looks like. But then we only use three pieces of chicken for every meal for just me and the kids. So I just keep it in the fridge, I take it out when I'm ready to use it, and it's that simple. Nothing ever goes bad, and it's an, it's an all natural chicken, so that's even better. So I will be making my crock pot chicken. I don't need anything for that meal, so that is great. So, so far for all this, all I need was hamburger meat and avocado, and that's two days worth of food. That is awesome. Friday, we're gonna do the bagels and eggs. I do have one ba one and a half bagels left, so that's a perfect amount for me and the kids. Chicken noodle soup and grilled cheese, we have everything for this. I'm not sure why I put an E at the end of soup, but <laughs> let's excuse that. For dinner, we're going to be doing turkey burgers, which I also have in the fridge, and mashed potatoes and pasta. Turkey burgers, all I normally eat with that is peppers and onions, and then the, cat, um, the mashed potatoes and pasta would be for the kids. I should write on there. I do have peppers and onions, so I'm not going to be buying anything extra with that. Saturday is just, the only thing I've got planned out is oats and eggs and bacon for breakfast lunch and dinner I'm not really sure about yet because Saturday is my errand day so normally we eat out and then for dinner Chad normally brings us something in and like I told you Sunday we spend with Chad so that's always eating out or something Monday is gonna be oats and eggs because I have so many boxes of oatmeal um, so that's why I want to get rid of some of that frozen meal and leftovers because I'm pretty sure we'll probably have some leftovers from all this stuff and then for dinner is one of my favorite dinners it's veggie beef soup so it's super easy it's hamburger meat um, pre-cooked with all of my just random vegetables that I have left in the house I do not have a strict um, recipe for it it's just whatever I got goes in the bowl and it always turns out perfectly so I just love to do that and this is made in the crock pot just so you know if you're interested Tuesday is our last day, and it's going to be oats, eggs, and bacon, of course, leftovers. I know for a fact this always has leftovers. And then for dinner, we're going to be doing tilapia and pasta. And then the next day will be Wednesday, and on Wednesday, we'll just be having our regular breakfast, probably oats, eggs, and bacon. And um, that'll be our day we meal plan and grocery shop again. So for our grocery list, pretty much everything we needed for food is hamburger meat, milk, avocados, bacon, and eggs. That is it. Um, that is a big savings for me. So I'm super proud of myself. I'm super happy that I hope we get to stick with this. I hope I don't eat out or anything like that. This is a week that I'm really going to try hard to get strict with the budget. Hold on one second. Maverick's trying. We'll check up on Aubrey here. She is snoring so bad. She doesn't normally snore like this. They said it was normal though. So this is everything I got from the grocery store today. Um, it doesn't look like a lot, but it was still like $79. So still pretty expensive. Um, I was trying to keep it under 50, but there was a few things that we needed. What is that? A piece of cheese? I'll get you a piece in just a second, okay buddy? Give me one second. I got my bananas that I always get. I got some girly products. Um, I got some tops for the kids' sippy cups because they go through them. Basically, I have to get new ones about every month. But they're just the soft tops for nooks. I got two things of meat, apparently. I didn't mean to get two. Um, I actually just meant to get this one. So I think this is where a lot of my budget went. Um, I think one of these is about $5. No, no, sorry. One of these is about $8. So, and then this one's 14 I think. Um, so, yeah, I made the mistake. I accidentally got two of those. I got some oranges. Aubrey just loves these oranges, um, like the little ones. But I decided to get these to make it easier on me. I'll open it. Okay. Yeah. And then I got a pack of bacon for some breakfast. 
And then I also add it into some meals sometimes, like with my turkey burgers. Here you go, baby. There you go. I got two gallons of milk. We got through a lot of milk in our house. I got some orange juice from my mimosas on Valentine's Day. Um, some crushed red pepper. Two things of these juices. Some eggs. Love eggs. And then um, tissues because Aubrey and Maverick both have really bad runny noses. Aubrey's is because of her surgery. And Maverick just has bad allergies. So um, lots of tissues. And then we got a big case of water down there. So I'm not really sure how all this was $70. But yeah, it was unfortunately. Um, that is our grocery haul. So my goal is for at least five days out of this week, we are not eating out at all. Um, we're just going to use what we have in the house. I mean, for $75, we better use it. So, I I mean, this is one of my cheaper grocery hauls. That is for sure. We did save a lot of money. And I did have to get things that we're not going to have to get for a while. So, I guess that's good. But, $70. Woohoo! But I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. The kids are already fighting. What y'all doing? If you did like this video and like videos like this, then make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. Also, comment down below um, what kind of videos you would like to see in the future or if you would like to see some of my crock pot meals or anything like that. Just leave it in the comments down below and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.